Hi guys! Today I'm going to make a sausage hot pot using this um, old vintage hot pot or slow cooker that I inherited from my dad. I'm also going to try these tofurkey beer brats looking like this. Uh, this is the first time I'm uh, trying these so it will also be a taste test of uh, the, these tofurkey beer brats. Uh, this uh, dinner, this hot pot, uh, is going to require minimal efforts preparing it and then you can just leave it to cook slowly for as long as you want. I think that the longer you leave it to cook, the better it will taste. But we will find out in a minute. So let's uh, roll that intro and let's get started. So what I'm going to start with today is to fry some white onion, some celery and some uh, garlic uh, in a pan. But before I do that, um, I am going to put my vintage slow cooker in some water to soak because if you don't do this, it can break when it hits the oven. I'm going to use one, two, three, four big gloves and the small one. I think the more garlic you put in, the better it's going to taste. That's normally how garlic works, but of course you can uh, use maybe one or two as well. If that's what you got the time. The more garlic, the better. I'm going to use my dad's vintage slow cooker today, but I think for this hot pot you can use of course a slow cooker, an electric one if you have, I've never used that but I think that will work great. But if you have none of these, you can also just use a regular pot and leave it on a low heat and let it simmer for, you know, like for however long you have. You know, if you got half an hour, you can leave it for half an hour, but if you have 12 hours, let it simmer for 12 hours and I think the longer you leave it, the better it will taste. I'm going to open the packet uh, of this Turberky beer brats. Uh, it says on the front of the packets, of course, all vegan. Um, it says tofu and wheat gluten sausages with amber ale. And then it says that it's great to add a dollop of mustard, a scoop of sauerkraut and it's barbecue bliss. Mm, you might have to try that some other time. But for today, I'm going to use it in my sausage hot pot. Nice. They don't smell that much, actually, but they probably will do after they cooked. I'm just going to chop these up a little bit and then I'm going to fry them in the same pan that I used uh, to fry the, the garlic, the onion and the celery. And I think I'm going to use both packs for this. I think you need quite a strong knife. Yeah, you need a, a sharp knife. I don't think uh, I will need two packets. Done. My cooker has soaked for at least 15 minutes, so I'm taking it out. So you can see that the, the, gar the garlic, the onion and the celery has become like a bit see-through and that's what you want. I think this is just to get the flavors going before you put it in the oven. Here. So my sausages are fried. I'm going to fill the pot with all the ingredients that are going in there and then I'm going to top it off with the sausages. Yellow and one green pepper chopped going in. Some white beans. There. The paprika powder. And some tomato puree. So 
So I think the reason you're frying uh, the sausages before you put them in is so that they get like a little bit of color. Like you can see here, they got a nice golden color. So I'm gonna, I think I've made too many sausages with two packets. I think one packet was actually enough. So I'm gonna just fill it with as many sausages as it can take basically. Something like that. Nice, okay, so if you make this at home, there is space for two packets of the tofurkey sausage sausages. It smells really good actually, and you can actually smell a little bit of the beer essence from the sausages, so I'm going to try one now. Yeah, I think I can um, actually smell a little bit of beer, or maybe that's just my imagination, but I think it's a good idea to try one of these before it goes in the oven. Mm. The texture is um, quite meaty. I mean, I don't eat meat so um, and I haven't done it for a very long time, so I can't really see, but uh, I like the texture. It does not taste so much by itself, but I guess it's like a hot dog or like a sausage you're supposed to have with maybe like a mash and the gravy or you know with some bread and some ketchup and mustard and like that. I think it's perfect. I think it will be super great also in this dish where there's a lot of flavors going on. So um, yeah, interested to see. It's got a sort of a, a spicy flavor actually, like an aftertaste. It's a bit spicy. It's like um, a bit of chili or black pepper or something like that. But they're really good. I like the sausages. Yeah, going in with the chopped tomatoes just to cover everything up. I'm actually really excited to try this. Ooh, nay! And it will like cook down in the oven and become really like just That's what I think. And I guess uh, what I would do in another case is like stir this together, but that's not possible. I think it would just uh, cook together and become really nice. I think that's the whole point with this. And now you may wonder why have I not turned on the oven yet? And I will tell you that I'm not supposed to turn on the oven because when you're using a vintage slow cooker like this one, you're supposed to put it in the oven when the oven is cold. And I also think again, this is to not make this uh, cooker uh, break in the oven. So I'm gonna get the lid out and put it in the oven and turn the oven on on 200 degrees. Okay, so the lid is going on. My dad would have been proud of me for using this. And I'm gonna place the cooker in the oven. And I'm turning on the oven 200 degrees. There! And now I can do something else. Nice! You ready to take a look at this? Whoa! Okay. This is there just to say. Ooh. It's a bit steamy in here now. Oh, nice, there's loads of like sauce in the bottom. And this is like minimal effort really. I mean it took me 10 minutes maybe to you know prepare this and then I left it in the oven now for I did not actually put a timer on. I left it in there for maybe one and a half hour. You can have it in there for maybe six hours as well, but I think after like one hour it will be ready to eat. So I'm gonna give it a taste now actually, because I think it's, it's done. Oh, it's so steamy. Steamy, steamy, steamy. Very hot. I like the sausage in it, it's really good. And do you know what? I did not add a single bit of salt into this. I normally put on so much salt on everything, I don't know why, because I'm just like a yeah, fan of salt. And I know it's not so good for you, but I did not add any salt into this at all. And the sausage, as I said, it goes really well. And it gives it a, a little bit of a spicy taste. I did not put any pepper or any chili flakes or anything in this either. Um, I think this sausage just works really well. It's really good and the vegetables are like cooked. The vegetables are like cooked in their own um, like broth. 
so it's like very flavorful. I think this will be perfect to serve with some uh, crusty bread or of course you can serve it with some rice as well, that would be great too. The sausage is perfect for this dish actually and the texture is really good. Nice. Definitely gonna do this again. It was so easy. So in terms of the review of the Tupperti sausages, I think they work really well in this dish. Uh, they give uh, like a bit of a spicy flavor and the texture really good as well together with the, the veggies and the, the white beans. Um, I really like these sausages. I would like to try them as well in a more like traditional like German dish, maybe with some sauerkraut and some potatoes. And I think they would go really well uh, in uh, like a hot dog style dish, you know, with a bread, bread bun and some ketchup and some mustard. Um, I recommend that you try them as well if you can find them uh, in your uh, local supermarket or in your local health store. Give them a try and let me know if you do, of course. It'll uh, be interesting to see what you guys think. My hot pot is finished and I am going to eat a bit more of it in a minute when it's cooled down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a like, hit that little like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until I see you next time, have a good one guys, bye!